Hello everybody, welcome back to another reaction video. It's me, Jake Boom. Today, I had a head cut and a shower, so that, I look, that way I look a bit different. And I got a new setup, a not really new setup, that does move the camera a bit down. So, um, I'm gonna hope that this, I think this looks better, and you can actually see my hoodie and stuff. So, um, hi. Today we're gonna watch this video, which is a Spongebob theory. My friend wanted me to watch it, so I thought, why not do a reaction? I might do a reaction to all the theories, I might not. And don't worry, like more SMO and other reactions will come. Because they are easy to make and they're fun. So the original video will be linked in the description below. There might be a comment there. And um, hopefully just enjoy the video. Okay, let's do this. Squilliam Fancy Son! Squilliam Fancy Son! Squilliam Fancy Son! Squilliam Fancy Son III is Squidward's rival from high school band class. So, I just took my private yacht across my private lake to my private heliport. He, he is such a... He has like a mustache, like Rick. And um, he, he's such a D-bag, isn't he? He's always... He, like, he's always whipping his um... Whipping his um... Ego and stuff into Squidward. Like, Squidward actually, like, is miserable as hell. I thought, when I was younger, I thought they were brothers. But I realized they're not. I think. It's more wealthy, popular, and talented than Squidward, and he always rubs it in his face. That's right! <laughs> I'm living That's what I'm your dreams, Squidward. Oh, just succeeding in everything you failed in. But I intend to prove that he's a fraud, using his wealth to make himself seem more popular and talented than he actually is. He go wow, that is like the saddest thing ever. So sad, mate. Is he? I am. <laughs> well, that's a hilarious meme. Top tier Spongebob meme, for sure. Goes to ridiculously extreme and expensive lengths to humiliate Squidward Love and show his excellent show. I'm gonna prove it. Spongebob is one of my favorite shows from my childhood. Even Same. going back now and rewatching the old ones, it still holds up. You might think it does. it's just a kid's show, there's no continuity, there's nothing worth theorizing about, but the show I mean, is, I mean isn't that most kid shows? Previous episodes. And if you look closely, you can connect the dots and find some very interesting stories. And Unless you're the Spongebob 3D movie and this ruins how Spongebob met Sandy because apparently he meant her he meant her originally in the first season. He didn't know what school is, but now the um, new cam show, um, you know the cam call, that's completely messed it up. They should have stuck to the original show really. I mean do we need any spin-offs? Today I'm going to prove that Squilliam Fancyson the third is a manipulative the fraud. Third. Evidence number one, the pet hospital. The we pet first hospital? Meet Squilliam in season two, episode 15, Band Geeks. The episode opens with Squibber playing the clarinet and getting a knock on the door. Like he always does. My husband got me a Damn it! to Simply Piano okay. for my birthday. Um, but I'm starting to I'm think cover my face off. This video so looks really good so far. Sorry about the advert. Yeah, uh, we're with the pet hospital down the street, and I understand you have a dying animal on the premises. Immediately <laughs> after, Squibber gets a call from Squilliam. Of course he does. Of course he does. Hello. You've reached the house of unrecognized talent. Please start after that. Unrecognized talent. Sounds as though you've got a dying animal to attend to, eh, hey, old chum? I believe that not only was Squilliam spying on Squidward to know when he was playing his clarinet, but he also hired the doctor to come and embarrass Squidward. Yeah, uh, we're with the pet hospital. <sighs> okay, Squilliam is kind of weird. We Does he have a cl crush on Squidward? We've only ever no? seen just the yes. regular Bikini Bottom Hospital. We've seen this well, he's before, but once again, he's never worked at a pet hospital. We've only ever seen him at the regular General Hospital. That's well, true. Well, Mr. Squarepants, it seems you have the suds. Are you ready for your treatment? Then there's this green fish behind him, and we've only ever seen him as one of the many identical paramedics that work at the Bikini Bottom Hospital. Are they like Chorn Troopers or um, the girl from Pokemon? Like the nurse Pokemon thing? Where there's just like multiple of them and they like can clone themselves or something. Well, this is the doctor that could take their DNA and just clone them. That would be a crazy theory. We even see him at the end of the episode to take Squilliam away after fainting. So it is very likely that Squilliam hired these two and told them to pretend like they're from a pet hospital just to humiliate Squidward. But this is just the start of Squilliam. Look at his eyebrow. Eyes. Evidence number two, the bubble bowl. In the same episode, Squilliam also says, I'm the leader of a big fancy band now, and we're supposed to play the Bubble Bowl next week. 
the problem is, I'm busy next week and can't make it. So I was hoping you and your band could cover for us. But we've never seen Squilliam's band before. And despite claiming he's too busy to make it to the Bubble Bowl, he too still busy. shows up at the end to watch Squilliam's like story. So both his excuse and probably his band were made up to pressure Squidward into humiliating himself at the Bubble Bowl. But he didn't. Three, no, that is a fantastic episode. Three, at the end, Spongebob, returns, amazing leaves singer. Leaves work and conveniently bumps into Squilliam and all of his fancy friends, despite Squilliam not seeming like the kind of guy that would come near the Krusty Krab. He and his friends make fun of Squidward for working as a cashier. Hold it! Don't tell me! You're a cashier! <laughs> oh, why? Lying always makes it worse. But I believe that this encounter was planned out by Squilliam in advance, and he hired all of those people to pretend to be his friends. Take a wow. Squilliam is a very, very sad fellow. Look at Squilliam's friends. They're all nicely dressed. Look at the scooter face there. That's hilarious. Fancy, high He's status like, members of Bikini Bottom, but they aren't. This is more like what the fancy rich people in Bikini Bottom look like. These are just some regular Bikini Bottom citizens. Most of them usually don't even wear nice clothes like this. And most of them are regulars at the Krusty Krab and would already know Squidward as the cashier. Right, Patty doesn't have enough slime. Well, how fat that guy is. These are not he has too many Krabby Patties in the way I mean. I mean, why would Squilliam be hanging out with one of Pearl's teenage friends? At the end of the episode, Squilliam even admits to his whole life being fake. I made everything up about my life. I have no yacht. Theory's done. <laughs> right there. There you go, your theory was correct. Let's see what more the video entails. Jets or anything. I was only trying to impress you. And then of course he quickly says he's just kidding. Is that true? Of course not! I felt he's taken rich! But was he kidding? I mean, obviously he's rich, but is there a nugget of truth in there? Did he have a cross on Squidward? Is he another Squidward? In seven, episode six, Squidward has to pick up trash for community service, and Squilliam once again conveniently bumps into him and reveals he's How picked convenient. up so much trash that the city actually built a statue of him. Maybe if you clean Such up the a cocky bottom, guy. they'll build a statue of you. Oh wait, they've already built one of me. I cleaned up all of Bikini Bottom and only one I mean, week. it looks like Squidward too, again, so it could be evil or has got the eyebrow. And he actually paid to get that statue built. As Squilliam tells Squidward about the statue, a female fish admires it and says, Bless you, Squilliam, fancy sim. Bless you. But if you remember, this is one of those friends Squilliam likely friends. friends. Making her whole comment friends. very fake. By the end of the episode, Squilliam's statue gets destroyed. A police officer approaches and they have this exchange. This is your statue? It was. Squilliam admits that it's his statue, not the same. Well, he could have said it was Squidward's because they basically look the same. And, and the statue didn't have the eyebrows. But hey ho, karma, right? And why else would the officer give him specifically a ticket if it was city property? Evidence number five, the concert. In season concert. six, episode 17, Squidward watches Squilliam play the clarinet at a big fancy concert. He receives a standing ovation, causing Squidward to leave angrily. But I believe this entire concert is a scam. Not only has the audience been paid to cheer, but Squilliam never even touches his instrument. Once again, many of the audience members were part of Squilliam's quote unquote friends, but we also never actually see Squilliam play the clarinet. The episode opens Good right point. after he's finished his performance with the audience cheering, and one member of the audience says, He's such a great musician. He doesn't even have to touch an instrument to be brilliant. Maybe the real reason Squibber leaves so <laughs> angrily is because the audience cheered for Squilliam even though he never even touched his clarinet. Maybe, well, maybe Squibber is not terrible. At the clarinet and he's trying to hide it. Squilliam has gone to some pretty extreme lengths just to humiliate Squidward. But nothing, and I mean nothing, compares to what he does next. Evidence number six. The music college. In the same episode, the music college? after Squidward leaves the concert, he's approached by the headmistress of the Bikini Bottom prestigious music college. Aren't you the esteemed Squilliam Fancyson the Third, who we all came here to see perform tonight? She mistakes him for Squilliam and offers him a position as a professor. Squidward I mean, did you? I mean, and teaches a class only for the police to burst in and I mean, they do him. look alike. Filmed on live TV, and I believe that this is Squilliam's most elaborate and most expensive scheme to destroy Squidward both publicly and legally. This encounter where Squidward gets offered a job is already suspiciously convenient, but listen closely to their exchange. 
I'm William Fancy Sam. But didn't you just say a minute ago that your name was Squidward Q Tentacle? Or she could be a total no, idiot, I mean, uh, no, you know? No, I didn't. Well, that's a relief. I mean, what kind of a moron would go to their worst enemy's music recital? What kind of moron would go to their own enemy's music recital? How does she know that Squidward and Squilliam are enemies? If she knew who Squidward was, then why didn't she recognize him? Why would she mistake him for Squilliam? This feels way too much like she was hired by Squilliam to set a trap for Squidward. And if that's not enough- This makes so much sense! Like, this Phoebe is like a top 10 Phoebe! It could- I- I'm- I'm believing this. There's like so much evidence. Like, did the writers plan this? This is such a good theory. The headmistress's associate is literally just a guy from the paid audience wearing a disguise. He just threw on some glasses to seem smart. Squilliam knew. Hey guys, guys. I'm a completely different person. Let's continue watching. Squidward couldn't resist the opportunity to teach a music class, even if it meant breaking the law. My very own music class. Then we get to the Bikini Bottom prestigious music college, and right off the bat, there's something very fishy about this place. The building it has itself fish is in it. green and grimy, and has a very cheap it looks metal disgusting. Look. Nothing about this says prestigious, except for the big sign on top, which feels like the only new thing about this building. I think there is a very good chance that Squilliam just bought some old warehouse, then stuck a sign and some paint on it to disguise it as a college. I mean, look very at these schools in Bikini Bottom. They all have a very nice structure and a paint job. But this <laughs> call the music chat. college looks like a dumpster. Going into the classroom, not only does it have another one of Squilliam's friends, but if this is such a prestigious college, friends. how did Spongebob and Patrick get in here? Would you two numbskulls mind telling me what you're doing in music class anyway? Sure! Patrick's New Year's resolution was to learn- I love Patrick Star, he's they amazing. Say it was their New Year's resolution to take a music class, but you'd think it'd be harder for them to get into an esteemed music school if they just decided to go to it on a whim. Seems like they're just letting in anyone to sell this ruse. Then, both the police, Squilliam and the headmistress, and a live news broadcast show up at the butt same chins. time to arrest Squidward for impersonating Squidward. That guy has butt chins. The extremely coincidental fact that all of these people suddenly showed up at the same time isn't enough for you to believe that Squilliam set it all up. I've got something that's going to blow your mind. Okay, before this, why do you think Squidward wear any, like, pants or anything? He's just like, that guy why doesn't sound to wear any clothes. And why do you go ahead, y'all? I'm getting off track. So let's see the big thing that would blow my mind. Squilliam literally has the police working for him. Squidward Q Tentacles, I'm placing you under arrest for impersonating a genius. If that doesn't sound like he's been paid off, I don't know what does. The lengths that Squilliam goes to humiliate Squidward are insane. He literally builds statues and entire buildings just to make Squidward feel inferior. But why? Why would why? go so far to embarrass is he an old high school Is he simply for Squidward on like showing his affection? What could have caused this extreme level of dedication? Well, unfortunately, we never really get much information on their past. I've spent hours reading through the Spongebob Wikipedia and looking at old episodes, and there really just isn't any clues that would explain their weird relationship. I guess we can't solve everything, but either way, that's my theory. Thank you so much for listening. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time. I did. Wait a what second. the hell? Wait a second. I genuinely thought that was the end of the video. Five, I genuinely did thought that was the end of the video. Where SpongeBob and Patrick and always Squidward, nothing really out of the ordinary. Except I have one question about this episode. What is it? Why does Squidward have Squilliam's robe? That is clearly not the purple robe he usually wears. He is. William Fancy Squidward's robe. Squidward is Squilliam. I hope I'm saying that right. Unless they were more than just classmates, could they have once been? Dating? Yes! I That's called it! There's no the other time when I say Squilliam's in love with Squidward or whatever, that was meant as a joke. But, I guessed it. By complete accident. Good going me. ...to support that. Right? Don't be intimidated, Squidward. Try to imagine him in his underwear. Oh no, he's hot! No. You can't be. I mean, what kind of a moron would go to their worst enemy's music recital? It's been right in front of us this whole time. Our sources last saw evil harassing teenagers up at- But didn't I say, um, 
Didn't they say um, he was simp... Skurian? Stupid things. Skurian was simping for Squidward or something? As a joke. I was right. Yeah, boy. I was right before he, before he said it in the video, but he said it before me, but I said it before I saw it in the video. What, what am I doing in my life? Make out reef. Ah, make out reef. Good time. Good time. Voted most likely to suck eggs in high school. Holy shit! So, um, that is the end of the video. That was a really good theory, I would say that. So, um, make sure you subscribe to this guy. Give this guy a thumbs up. Actually, I like the video. I'm going to subscribe to him right now. There you go. Um, subscribe. Leave a like. Um, do whatever you do to support him. He has a, that was a really, really good theory. Like, it's so good. And, um, so let's, um, he, so, uh, the subscribe to him. The video will be linked in the description. I have to, okay, my YouTube is glitched out of there. You can see my waifu. I'll go to blog that out. See ya.